All right, this is going to be on Angels chapter 11. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Get out your King James Bible, turn it to the second book of Samuel, and we're going to read chapter Oh, let me see. All right, it'll be uh, chapter 24, 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 1. And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to say, Go, number Israel and Judah. Now, there's a companion verse, if I remember correctly, it's in Chronicles. It says that Satan moved David to number Israel. And then, you know, people will say, well, is it God or is it Satan? Or is God Satan or is Satan God? But you got to realize something. Sometimes the Lord does use Satan for his purposes. For example, uh, you know, if the Lord, uh, if Satan had known that by killing Christ, <laughs> the Lamb of God would redeem his people, he never would have done it. So God allowed the death of his only begotten son. So, you know, it's, it's, eh, what can I tell you? Now, go number Israel and Judah. What do you mean number? Count them. David wants to take a census. Census 2020, people. Uh, today is May 10th, 2020. We just had a census. All right. Verse 2, for the king, David, for the king said to Joab, the captain of the host, which was with him, Go now through all the tribes of Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, and number ye the people, that I may know the number of the people. Okay. And Joab said unto the king, Now the Lord thy God add unto the people how many soever there be, an hundredfold, and that the eyes of my lord the king may see it. But why doth my lord the king delight in this thing? Now, I think he was trying to talk him out of it here. Now, you've got to realize something. Israel belonged to the Lord, but David wants to know how many people are under his command or under his kingship. And yet, you know, God was supposed to be, they were supposed to be his people. Verse 4, Notwithstanding, the king's word prevailed against Job, Joab and against the captains of the host. And Joab and the captains of the host went out from the presence of the king to number the people of Israel. So they're going to do a census. Now you got to realize something. God wasn't pleased with this. Not at all. Is God pleased with America doing a census? I don't know. Verse 5, and they passed over Jordan and pitched in or something or other, on the right side of the city that lieth in the midst of the river of Gad and toward Jazer. Then they came to Gilead and to the land of Tatim Hodshi, and they came to Danjan and about to Zidon. And came to the stronghold of Tyre, and to all the cities of the Hivites and of the Canaanites. And they went out to the south of Judah, even to Beersheba. So when they had gone through all the land, they came to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and twenty days. You know, a, a woman could have gotten uh, pregnant and delivered by the time they did all that, right? 
And Joab gave up the sum of the number of the people unto the king, and there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men that drew the sword, and the men of Judah were 500,000 men. That's not talking about the women. That's not talking about the children. And David's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned greatly in that I have done. And now I beseech thee, O Lord, take away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. Um, I don't understand this very well, but uh, there's a companion verse in Exodus chapter 30 and verse 11. Now, David was not told to do this, whereas in Exodus 30 and verse 11, Moses was. And the, Moses, uh, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, When thou takest the sum of the children of Israel after their number, then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto the Lord. When thou numberest them, that there be no plague among them, when thou numberest them. This they shall give every one that passeth among them that are numbered half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty gerahs, and half shekel shall be the offering of the Lord. Every one that passeth among them that are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering unto the Lord. The rich shall give no more, and the poor shall give no less than half a shekel when they give an offering unto the Lord to make an atonement for your souls. And thou shalt take the atonement money of the children of Israel and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation that it may be a memorial unto the children of Israel before the Lord to make an atonement for your souls. Now, the Lord told Moses to, to take the number, to do the census, and was told that they were to take a half a shekel for every uh, male that was 20 years old or over. And in, the, in this time period, a male could not be drafted into the military service until he was 20 years old or above. So, in the eyes of the Lord, a 20-year-old was an adult. Why do the you-know-whos have a bar mitzvah when they're like 12 or some garbage like that? I don't know. All right, so. Uh, and then in verse 2 Samuel, chapter 24, verse 10. And David's heart smote him after he had numbered the people. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned greatly in that I have done. And now I beseech thee, O Lord, take away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. I don't exactly know why this is. Maybe because he did it on his own initiative and he wasn't told to do it. Maybe he did it out of pride to see... Well, let's see how big of an army I have. I'm in command of here. Um, maybe it's because he didn't take the half shekel from all the males. Maybe it's a combination of those reasons. I don't know exactly what, but the Lord was not pleased. So let's keep reading verse 13. So Gad came to David. Oh, I'm sorry. Verse 11. For when David was up in the morning, the word of the Lord came unto the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying. Now, a seer is just an Old Testament word for prophet. Verse 12. Go and say unto David, Thus saith the Lord, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. God's not pleased. So Gad came to David and told him and said unto him, 
Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in thy land? Or wilt thou three, flee three months before thine enemies while they pursue thee? Or that there be three days pestilence in thy land? So what do you want? Famine, the sword, and destruction? Or do you want pestilence and disease? Now advise and see what answer I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us now, uh, let us fall now into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning even to the time appointing, and there died of the people from Dan even to Beersheba 70,000 men. Wow. Do you realize that was almost 10% of the number of people that were in Israel? Israel, not Judah, Israel. So, verse 16. And when the angel, ah, that's this is part of 11 of angels, right? And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing place of Arayuna, the Jebusite. And David spake unto the Lord when he saw the angel that smote the people and said, Lo, I have sinned, and I have done wickedly. But these sheep, what have they done? Let mine hand, I pray thee, be against me and against my father's house. It's pretty brave of David, really, you think about it. And Gad came that day to David and said unto him, Go up, rear an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Ara the Jebusite. And David, according to the sayings of Gad, went up as the Lord commanded. And Ara Yuna looked and saw the king and his servants coming on toward him. And Ara Noah Era Yuna went up and bowed himself before the king on his face upon the ground. And Era Yuna said, Wherefore is my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To buy the threshing floor of thee to build an altar unto the Lord, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Era Yuna said unto David, Let my lord the king take and offer up what seemeth good unto him. Behold, here be oxen for burnt sacrifice, and threshing instruments, and other instruments of the wood, oxen for wood. All these things did Arayuna as a king give unto the king, and Arayuna said unto the king, The Lord thy God accept thee. And the king said unto Arayuna, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which doth cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. And David built there an, offer, uh, an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. All right, I guess um, I'm going to start on uh, angels number the next one. So all blessings. That's the end. This is the end of this uh, lesson, since there's not much more to it. Uh, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. In His precious name, Amen.